Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Fluent Strings. Fluent Strings provide a more fluent, object-oriented interface for working with string values, allowing you to chain multiple string operations together using a more readable syntax compared to traditional string operations. All right, there are many fluent strings operations. I am just going to show you some of them. First of all, let's create a new controller. So switch to the command prompt and here just type php artisan make colon controller a space controller name. Let's say controller name is fluent controller. Okay, now press enter. Now run the application, so just write here php artisan serve. Now switch to the project and just open fluent controller. So just go inside app, ctp, controllers and from here just open fluent controllers. Okay. Inside this controller, let's create a function here. So just write here public function. And function name let's say function name is index and here just echo h1 tag and here just write fluent a string okay now save this file and now let's create a route for this function so just go to the web.php just go inside routes then open web.php file and here let's create a route so just write here route get and here just add a uri let's say uri is fluent a string okay add here cont controller name so just write here fluent controller colon colon class comma function name which is index so, so just write here index and give the name so just write your name fluent fluent dot index okay only fluent now save this file and uh, let's check it so switch to the browser and just go to the fluent string url Okay, and you can see here fluent string text. Okay, all right. Now let's see the sum of the fluent string operations. So start with after. The after method returns everything after the given value in a string. Okay, so let's see the example. So just go inside this function and here just create a variable. Let's say slice is equal to str colon colon of mm, welcome let's say inside this just write here welcome to my youtube channel okay and here just call the function after so just write here after and I'm just going to copy this text and paste here. Welcome to. All right. This after method uh, returns everything after this one. Okay. Welcome to. It means it will source only this one. My YouTube channel. Okay. So just echo here. So just write here echo dollar slice uh, let's add here use illuminate support slash str ok now save this file and let's check it so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and here you can see my youtube channel ok Okay, now let's see the after last uh, 
function so the after last function returns everything after the last occurrence of the given value in a string okay so let's see the example so just create another variable dollar uh, let's say slice 2 is equal to str colon colon of and just add here the string let's say app slash http slash controllers slash controller okay and just here call the function after last so just write here after the last function and here just pass the slash double slash okay here in this string there are three slashes okay you can see here one two and three okay there are three slashes so after last uh, after last function method just return this string controller because this is the last occurrence okay so now just echo this so just write here echo dollar slice 2 and also add here the break so just write here br type also add here okay now save this file and let's check it so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here the controller okay next method is append the append method appends the given values to the string okay so let's see the example so just here create another variable let's say a string is equal to str colon colon of first string let's say hello and just call the function append and here just pass to the another string okay let's say world okay now just equal the string so just write here echo dollar the string now save this file this append method just append these two strings okay hello and world so let's check it so refresh the page and here you can see hello world now let's see the lower method the lower method converts the given string to the lower case okay so here just create another variable let's say result and inside this just write here str 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 colon colon of and add here a text let's say laravel in capital case capital letter okay and now now just call here a lower function so just write here lower okay this lower method just convert this uppercase uh, letter in lower case okay so just echo so just write here echo dollar result okay also add the break text. so just write here br now save this file and uh, let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here laravel 8 in a small lower case okay also copy this break tag and add here next method is replace the replace method uh, replace a given a string within the string okay so let's see the example of replace method so just write here a variable create a variable replaced is equal to str colon colon of just enter any text here a string so just write here laravel 7.0 okay 
So call here the replace function. So just write here replace and just add here in first uh, 7.0 and replace with replace this and here just write here replace with which is 8.0 okay it will replace uh, 7.0 with 8.0 now just echo dollar replaced now save this file and also add the break tag so just write here in this okay now save this file and refresh the page and you can see here laravel 8.0 now let's see the title method the title method converts the given string to the title case okay so let's create another variable let's convert it is equal to str colon colon of just write here a uh, string in lower case so just write here this is a title okay now call the function title and now just echo dollar converted okay and also add here br tag Now save this file and refresh the page and you can see here the this is a title in title case okay now let's see the slug method the slug method generates a url friendly slug uh, from the given string okay so let's see the example here for the slug method so just write here dollar slug str colon colon of let's add here the string uh, let's say laravel 8 framework okay and here just call the function slug and inside this method just pass here dash single dash okay now just echo dollar slug and also break the line so just write here clear tag save this file and refresh the page you can see here the string in slug slug file okay next method is uh, sub str the sub str method returns the portion of the string specified by the given the start and length parameters okay so let's see the example of sub str so here just create a function here yeah, let's say str is equal to str colon colon of just write here a text a string laravel framework okay and here just call the function sub str and just pass here the value let's say 8 okay now just echo just write here echo dollar str and here just add the break It will return only this okay framework now save this file and let's check and you can see here the framework if you want to specify the length so just add add here uh, let's say 5 now save this file and refresh the page and you can see only 5 character okay frame Next method is trim. The trim method trims the given string 
So here let's create another variable and let's say str2 is equal to str colon colon of and just add here let's say laravel 8 this okay slash laravel 8 slash now call the trim function and inside this just add this okay here the trim function just remove this slash and this slash okay now you go dollar str2 save this file and here just refresh the page and you can see here laravel 800 now let's see the upper method the upper method converts the given string to the upper case okay so let's see the example for the upper method so just write here str2 str3 okay and here just write str colon colon of uh, just write here the string in lower case just write here laravel 8 and call the function upper okay this upper function converts this string into upper case okay so just take for this so just write here dollar str3 okay now save this file and just refresh the page and you can see here laravel 8 in uppercase so in this way you can use fluent string in laravel 8 so that's all about fluent string in laravel 8 so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching